Welcome to The Real Thing. That's a Rouse Expanded Load Thing for Balloon Art. I'm Graham Rouse. I'm the inventor. And I'm here as your host to demonstrate for you skills that you'll need to take full advantage of the world's best canvas for your balloon imagination. Today I want to demonstrate for you a skill for loading balloons into balloon grid frames that makes those displays especially strong. Now this is a Rouse original and patented technique for use exclusively with Rouse Matrix balloon frames. But if you like it, you want to use it with other balloon frames, contact me for a license. We can arrange that. But why? When you can use it with the world's best, at no extra charge at all. We're going to start by laying out some Rouse Matrix banners ready to load balloons. What we'll do is take a pair of balloons, only this time, that first one, we're going to take and put the balloon on its side instead of on the tip. And lay it flat on this piece, put it on its side, and just roll it and stand it right straight up. So that first one is uh, here. And what you want is you want the, the strap of the balloon to be around the fattest part of the balloon. So wherever it's fattest, that's where you want that strap to be. Then we'll take the second pair, do the same thing. Just roll it right in. And the third one, we'll simply slide it right in place. And we can go along here for that same uh, set of six uh, balloons long that we did in the first demonstration. Two, four, six, and then we'll take and do it again. And we'll take this one and roll it into place, turn it, turn it vertically, take the next one and just slip it right in there too. Now we have these other balloons to push against, and it's a little bit easier as we go. Now it looks kind of silly with all these balloons waving in the breeze like this, doesn't it? But that has, it has a purpose, and we're going to show that to you right now. What we'll do, we're going to take a second matrix that's just like this one. In fact, uh, we're going to orient it the same way. I don't know whether you can see there, but we're going to take that little R. It's in the upper uh, left-hand corner. We rotate it 90 degrees, and we're going to lay it right on top and pull that first balloon up through there, again, to the fattest part of the balloon. And do the same thing on the next one. And we can just work our way along here sliding these balloons up into place inside of the matrix, one right beside the other. You know, it is kind of important to make sure that the balloons are standing straight up when you put them in, because whatever angle you set for the first pair or the first few is how the rest of them are going to line up. You just do it naturally and you can come back and massage it to get them uh, at even heights across there. But since this is uh, about 20 times as thick, this is a quarter of an inch and this is uh, much larger, then it's about 20 times as strong or stiff when you go to build things with it. Plus, it also gives you a space in here that's empty, so you can slide rods or poles or lines through there in order to give some extra structure for hanging it or for standing it on a base plate with a vertical pipe that's hidden inside those layers. So it makes it stronger, it's very simple, easy kind of a technique uh, that we use, but since it's so strong, we call it the strong technique. Well, how do you like that? An easy way to make your balloon display 20 times as strong without heavy rigid framing. Later videos will show more valuable information, so be sure to watch them also. But for now, you have the basics of the Rouse patented strong technique. Get the details and learn more skills right here in this column of Rouse Sidebar Seminar Videos. Thanks to our sponsor, Balloonverse Mall. That's bvsmall.com. Your balloon frame supercenter with balloon frames in more sizes, shapes, and grid patterns than anyone else in the Balloonverse.